doom on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. And the auto sequence has been initiated. And ground launch sequencer now in control of all the countdown events. Up until T minus 31 seconds when Discovery's onboard computers will take over. The flow rate of conditioned air fed into the orbiter's payload bay has been reduced now to the rate of about 180 pounds per minute. PLT, OTC, configure fuel cell, essential bus sauce switches. Essential buses are connected to fuel cells. Copy. Let's just go for OAA retract. And the orbiter access arm can be moved back into position around the hatch in about 30 seconds should an emergency occur. T minus seven minutes and counting. Next milestone is the start of the auxiliary power units by pilot Kevin Kriegel. He'll flip three switches in the cockpit to start each of the three APUs and then report that's complete. JRPS OTC. Capcus, start APU and hydraulics drip trot recorders. And that's a good... OTC, perform APU pre-start. APU pre-start's in work. Start complete, three great talkbacks. OTC copies. It's confirmation that the auxiliary power units are ready to start. T minus five minutes and counting. Yeah, go for order APU start. DLT OTC perform APU start. APU starts in work. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfigure is complete. Preparation for main engine start will begin in about 20 seconds. If you start to complete three of the high grade, press light out. Copy. And that word from pilot Kevin Kriegel that we have three good auxiliary power units, so we've had nary a hitch in this terminal countdown sequence.
T minus four minutes. And that's the preparations for the main engine activation, main engine start sequence. Flight controls through their test pattern. Three main engines now being gibbled. All of these steering checks to assure that we have proper control during ascent. And we're preparing now to retract the Gox beanie cap. TLT, OTC, clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. That's in work. T minus 2 minutes 30 seconds. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood, which vents. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. And on behalf of everyone in the control room, have a great mission. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for your help. And the vent arm retraction underway on schedule. ELS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Minus 90 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. That's a quantity of 300,000 gallons of water in the water tank at the pad, which will flow at a rate of 900,000 gallons a minute, starting at T minus 16 seconds. T minus one minute now. for the handoff to Discovery's onboard flight computers at T-minus 31 seconds. NTD, CBRN. Go ahead, BRN. Call hold. Hold at 31. Not that we'll hold at 31 seconds. And we do have a hold. We'd like permission to run a multi-path uh, test. Contingency. SP entity. Let's go ahead and move to it. Yeah, CBRFC, have a go. Take care, result in 15 seconds. Copy, anywhere. Okay, the result of the contingency is good. We're clear for launch. I copy. FCE. Uh, SPE understands, and uh, we're ready to go. I copy. Launch director in today. Clear to go. Thank you. All personnel, countdown clock will begin momentarily. And today, this is GLS. Do we have go to resume? GLS, go ahead and pick up the count. I resume on my mark. Two, one, mark. GLS, go for auto sequence start. And we've had the handoff to Discovery's onboard computers. 20. Sound suppression water system activated. 13 seconds. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Main engine ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1. 
and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery to complete NASA's constellation of tracking stations in the sky. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery. Roger, roll Discovery. Discovery completes the roll to place the shuttle in a heads down, wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Twenty-seven seconds into the flight, Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 67% of rated performance to lessen the stress on the shuttle's zero surfaces as it passes through the sound barrier. Fifty seconds into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up once again to 104% of rated performance, including the new Block 1 engine. All three main engines performing normally, as are the three power-producing fuel cells and Discovery's three hydraulic power units. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Discovery now 63,000 feet in altitude, eight miles downrange. All systems continue to function normally in the early stage of the fourth shuttle flight of the year. Twenty seconds left in first stage performance of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery approaching the 155,000 foot mark in altitude, some 26 miles downrange. Booster officer confirms solid rocket booster separation. Discovery Houston, performance nominal. Copy nominal performance. That you'll see. This is a real team effort up 